so these are the main things we want to show and as usual we'll come into it from the end right here Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 16, Lost Part 2. In today's episode, we re-entered by saying it seems like what we call the expanded version, where we converted 2-4 to 3-quarter, is the core structure. It is the keel of our work to date, the keel of a ship. It's the, the, the backbone of the entire ship. And what we call the compressed version, where we squenched it to double time, are the side ribs or the side strakes and the hull. Another metaphor was it seems like the work to date is an intricate woven cloth with many layers and many textures and we're weaving this cloth and layers together and it's waiting to be cut and pleated, nipped and tucked into some kind of shape. Um, so what we did today is we double checked our work to date, the timpani syncopation line, we had one extra place to add it, which we suspected. We tested revoicing what we call our arpeggiation, and we liked it the way it is. We left it alone. The key thing that we did is we added um, a little extra oomph to the snare. Per, instead of it's going pump, 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 it goes pump, 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 pump. pump. So it's doing a, a lead enter, a lead enter, a lead enter, which which actually. Um, echoes what we call new figure ornaments called a lead, a slide, and a, a, and a wave. And these leads and slides and waves we realize are giving us a passing note effect because, uh, let's see if we can show this to you. Well, we can't show, we'll show it to you when we do this. We also added a bit of spacing. We added another new line called the Lyric Ground Choir to complement the bassoon and the voice and we cleaned things up and we made a new recording. So what we want to do is show you the full score now that looks like this and um, an example of the lead in. Here's a lead and then it goes and over here this is a lead and a slide And then the percussion is over here. Ta tum 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 ta tum tum tum. And then every time a new um, sub arc begins, it resets the clock. Sometimes it ends to tum 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 tum, and sometimes it ends short to tum 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 ta tum 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 tum. So it resets the clock, and it gives an overall pleasing effect of again syncopation and the timpani and the we feel the timpani and the percussion now make their own duet, so to speak. So this is what we call our cadence layer, which is the keel, and the uh, the fast layer, which is the quarter notes, including the percussion, and then the lyric layer, which is the bassoon and voice, and this new sound is this. And these are long, sustained notes that kind of carry the the moving parts and and instead of the moving parts kind of making this bouncy 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 which drives you nuts it's got a underneath it so let's play the thing for you and that'll bring us home here we go <laughs>
So that concludes today's stream. We are really enjoying how the bassoon, what we call the gamakas and the the voice choir, which has the waves, interact with each other. And those are figures that we learned in this series. And then we also enjoy finally having, we kept wanting some kind of long sweep synthesis sound that, that um, was sustained. So we found that. So our ideas for next time are uh, some double further double checking. Um, it's probably time to do our line diagram energy chart and see what how many we're going to tune this thing now, and uh, to change energy. And we've got some ideas for how to do that. Shout outs to Apu the fish who's been here before and I was, who I think is new. Thanks guys for coming by, making your comments. We appreciate that. Tune in to see what happens next. Do take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming.